Hello everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Basim Traima and I'm the LMCC Licensing Exams uh, Program Director at Edge Plus. Today I'm going to talk to you about the similarities and the differences between the American and the Canadian medical license uh, exams. For the Canadian one, we have uh, two basic exams, the MCCQ1 and the NACOSCI. For the American exams, we have the USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 uh, CK, Clinical Knowledge, and USMLE Step 2 CS, Clinical Skills, which has been recently replaced by Step 3, USMLE Step 3. For the Canadian exams, they focus more on the Canadian healthcare system and how medicine is practiced in Canada. For the American exams, they focus on how medicine is practiced in the U.S., Similarities between both categories of exams include having a standardized uh, multiple choice question uh, format for the MCCQ1 and USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 CK. And for the clinical exams, they are composed of uh, clinical um, stations uh, where SPs are there. And the candidate has to go through these uh, stations. Uh, they examine you at the for in the clinical exams, the uh, NAC OSCE and the USMLE Step 2 CS, they examine you uh, on history taking, uh, doing targeted targeted physical exam, uh, and uh, they test your communication skills and professionalism. And now for the uh, Canadian exams, uh, they uh, have more uh, questions about uh, they are the, the MCCQ1. They have more questions uh, focusing on the public health domain, the epidemiology, the psychiatry, and the medical legal aspects of medicine, uh, in addition to questions on ethics. For the Canadian exams, the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 uh, CK, they focus more on basic medicine, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, pathology, in addition to the different uh, therapeutic areas in medicine. Uh, by the way, the Medical Council of Canada has announced that in 2025, uh, the CDM or the Clinical Decision Making uh, Section uh, of the MCCQ1 will be discontinued and they will give more room and space for the multiple choice question exams. Uh, that's the uh, basically that's the uh, similarities and the differences between the American and the Canadian uh, medical license exams uh, plan ahead. By the way, one uh, last point, the Canadian exams if you're thinking of taking it there is an advantage because you can incorporate that in an immunization program. Please check with Edge Plus for that point. The American exams, by the way, and if you got a residency through the American exams, the visa issued for that will not guarantee you a, um, an immigration opportunity. Have a great day, everyone, and goodbye.